Gil, where do you see technology heading for your company in the future? Well, technology is going to become all pervasive. The trick with technology, I think, is not to concentrate on it, but concentrate on the services that it enables. So my company looks after you if you're chronically diseased, if you're elderly, if you're vulnerable, if you're infirm, and it helps keep you in your own home. So no one really gives a damn about the technology. You don't ask yourself, how does a remote control on the TV set work? You ask, what channel can I watch? It's an enabler to living at home and being secure and safe. It's an enabler to helping the carers, you, for instance, rather than your parents, to know that your parents are safe, they're secure, they haven't had a fall, that they're being managed properly. And it's a huge enabler as we go forward and health and social care systems start to join up to actually integrate all that data to produce real tangible benefits, not just in the design of the way we build communities, but also in the way that we interface and work with government, carers, non-governmental organisations, and the individuals who are most in need as they go forward. So with, with, kind of with the rise of new ways of communicating, new ways of, kind of mobile devices, is that kind of changing the way that your company develops its products and services? Yeah, ultimately, it will change everything we do. So our focus has been building the back-end architecture to interface with social care systems, to interface with GP systems. There's no point in having data if, it doesn't, if it's not actionable, if it doesn't go anywhere. So building that ecosystem of software that allows you to drag data in, do the analytics. Uh, to give you an example, wouldn't a local authority like to know what sort of housing is useful for particular demographics, particular conditions and all that sort of stuff, rather than having to treat people when they've fallen over and had a bloody hip uh, fracture, yeah. to give you an example. I can tell you that when you start to cut data by demographic, socioeconomic groups, type of housing and all that sort of thing, you get real actionable data that will drive the way that we actually change our society, the way we look after people, the way we deal with things like social isolation. So there's a, there's a huge change coming and things like bring your own devices. You know, this is froth at the moment and it's very exciting. We've just seen Samsung's new watch come out, but ultimately I don't know too many people who are on £23,000 or less, which is when you get help from the state in this country, who can afford a £500 iPhone. This is going to be cheap, it's going to be all pervasive, and it's the amalgamation of that data that will drive the change in the way we look after people in our, in our societies and our community. Gil Baldwin, thank you very much.